Tonight I'm going to make a takeaway favourite, sweet and sour chicken. First of all, I'm going to start with my sauce. I'm going to take an easy option and blend my sauce in a Nutribullet. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just doing it this way because I have fresh pineapple instead of pineapple juice. In here, I have my pineapple, ginger, garlic, chili, and brown sugar. To this then, I'm going to add one teaspoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is an absolutely amazing dish and I can assure you that it will be better than any takeaway that you've had. One tablespoon of white wine vinegar, two teaspoons of rice vinegar. Rice vinegar is quite strong, hence only teaspoons. Two tablespoons of ketchup and two tablespoons of honey. Two. I'm then going to just blend it on my Nutribullet because I want a smoother sauce. Once your onion is softened, I would then add your pepper, add your blended sauce to the stir fry vegetables and bring it to the boil. Once your sauce is bubbling away, then just pour a little corn flour. Don't put all of it in at once because you don't know how thick it will make your sauce. Give it a stir, allow it to boil. If it's not thick enough, then add some more. Then finally, stir in your pineapple. I'm using fresh, but tinned is absolutely fine. I'm now going to make the batter for my chicken balls. This is a good way to make chicken go a lot further. I've got two chicken breasts here and I'm going to feed four people with that. I have 100 grams of self-raising flour and I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm then going to add water until it becomes the consistency of double cream. The baking powder will make the batter light and fluffy. When you cut your chicken, it's important that they're all equal sizes so that they cook at the same rate. Whisk it through so that all the lumps go. This is still a little thick, so I'm just going to add a little more water. That then is the consistency of double cream. Season, a little bit of white pepper, some salt, then you can coat your chicken. It's better to do this in batches so that you don't overload the oil. You have to be very careful to deep fry and it is better to do this in a deep fat fryer. If you don't have one then you can alternatively use a wok or a deep frying pan and fill it with a couple of inches of oil. To test if your oil is ready add a little drop of the batter and it will float to the top of the surface. Add your chicken very carefully. Lift, lift the chicken out of the batter, let the excess drain off and lower them into the oil. I would not do any more than about six to eight of these at a time. Give them a little nudge every now and again. It's very important to control your oil. If it sounds like it's getting too bubbly like this, then lower your heat down. I would not recommend doing this without adult supervision. So here is my last batch of chicken. I cooked the two chicken breasts in four batches in total. While your oil's still hot, another fun thing to do is to make some prawn crackers. You just gently slide them into the oil. Don't drop them in because you do not want the oil to splash and they will just puff up. Do about eight at a time. You can buy these online from places like Amazon and it just gives an authentic touch to your takeaway. Sweet and sour chicken for four people, a takeaway favourite.
I can assure you this recipe will be better than any takeaway you've ever had.